Hey guys, my name is Rob. Welcome back. Today, more bead roller stuff. Okay, so I keep having um, questions on how I managed the union between the uh, the drive motor and the bottom roller or the drive roller for the uh, for the bead roller. I'm going to show you how I did it. It's nothing nothing super fancy, but it does require a little bit of cutting and welding. I'm going to put you guys up here on the uh, um, on the tripod, and I'm going to show you what it takes to uh, to marry these two together. This is the lower uh, drive gear, drive rod basically, and there's the spur gear that's on the end of it. And here's how I did it. I cut the uh, output shaft that came on the reel for the winch, and I just welded it to this. That's all I did. That's just TIG welded. You gotta make sure you get it as straight as you can, and that's all it is. And that just goes into the receiving part of the winch. goes right in there and that's it some things you will be concerned with is the offset from your plate uh, you see how I got a little gap there you'll have to get that spacing correct to line up that drive um, the, the drive part the drive rod with the input shaft of the winch so that's gonna take some fiddling and then making sure you, you still mesh these two up but other than that, that that's it I just cut the spur gear off of the, uh, or the spline gear off of the, the reel that came with the winch, welded it to the lower rod, and uh, fit it into the winch. So that's all it is, guys. No magic there, just a little bit of cutting and welding. And uh, please, I appreciate it. Um, I'm taking the time out of my day to, to kind of to do these things at your request. So please hit me back with a, a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. Really appreciate it, guys. Like I said, anytime you got questions or anything you want to see more of, just hit me up. I'll do my best to make a video or answer uh, and uh, help you out any way I can. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.